He's extremely innovative, very intelligent. Engineering, electrical, uh, he understands those things. It's heart, soul, everything about it. He's just loves them. It's the one question Tyler Sheets gets asked more than any other. That's the first question someone always asks me is, where did it start, where did it start? And I, I, I have no idea. It's a million dollar question. About the origin of his unique fascination. I've been doing it for so long, it's like it's something that's come natural to me. Something about vacuum cleaners. Here's the Hoover Junior. The vacuum cleaner, for generations, something most of us have to use. One of those required necessities of life. Only Hoover has this combined brush and beater. But for Tyler, it's a passion, always has been. I feel like it's something that I was meant to be, I was born to be able to do this. When he was just a baby, Betty Jean Sheets gave her son his very first vacuum, a plastic toy model. This was the original vacuum cleaner that he got when he was 14, maybe 15 months old. Little did Betty Jean know, a seed was planted. That night, I couldn't get him to go to sleep, and when I finally got him to lay down, this actually went to bed with him in his crib. Whether it was the look or the sound, or how it worked, there was just something about the vacuum that captivated Tyler. I have like vague, vague, vague memories of like when I was really little and like sitting on the couch, like hanging over the edge of the couch, like watching my mom vacuum. From working on them as a baby with his grandfather, to the homemade costume he wore for Halloween, Tyler's passion only grew. When he was little, I used to drive him around to vacuum stores. He immersed himself in all things vacuums, learning all the makes and models. I remember at the age of probably six, seven years old, somebody could show him a picture of a vacuum cleaner and he would know the model number of it. I was constantly on YouTube reading forums, figuring how diagrams and everything, watching videos of people tearing apart things and then trying it myself. People were like, he doesn't want to go outside and play. He would rather just sit and do research and learn about vacuum cleaners. Ultimately, Tyler started his own vacuum cleaner collection. His bedroom is filled with them. So in my room, primarily, I have my phantoms. That's most his closet, there. too. In here, I have more of my phantoms, and then I have all my rainbows that are underneath, all of my clothes underneath here. Another so closet off his bedroom is also packed. And then all of my Kirby's, there's two rows of Kirby's going all the way down this whole room. So too is the storage closet. All my 90's dirt devils. Some of the real gems though get These prominent places in his are, room. This Electrolux right here is Electrolux's first upright. It was given to me by a collector. In all, between all my different rooms, I have about 275 vacuum cleaners. Yeah, you heard right. Tyler owns roughly 275 vacuum cleaners, give or take a few. I would rather him do this than stuff that other kids do. Mom Betty Jean is quite he, supportive of her son's obsession. This is a clear rainbow made for a dealer. Even for his recent 18th birthday, Tyler got a vacuum themed cake. And I'm a firm believer, if you're passionate about something, don't be ashamed of it. Be proud of it, own it. One day he just walks in the door. When he was just 10, Tyler started going to A1 Vacuum Solutions in Huntersville. Where's your mom? Oh no, she just dropped me off today. Customer comes in, so I get pulled away. Go back in the repair room. Little Tyler's halfway through with the repair already. It should come as no surprise that Tyler now works there. If someone just turns on a vacuum cleaner, I can tell you what's wrong with it right off the bat. Tyler's 18 years old with 30 years experience in the vacuum industry. Every time I'm fixing something, I make sure every single little thing is perfect. He understands the sales and marketing. He understands the manufacturing and design. Tyler does have other interests, running cross country at South Rowan High School. And with his attention to detail, it should come as no surprise that he's also good in the classroom. I'm second in my class. <laughs> and really good with numbers and creative projects. He is definitely a unique teenager. He's been accepted to his dream school, the engineering program at Purdue University. I've said it since he was probably six, seven years old. He's going to be an engineer. I see a large career for him ahead in engineering. 
um, more, probably more in the mechanical piece. I think he'd be really good with that. Tyler's ultimate dream? I want to build the perfect vacuum cleaner. Because believe it or not, he says it currently doesn't exist. Because there's flaws in every single brand. It's been said that the best things to collect in life are the ones where you actually enjoy the process of building the collection. I think it's pretty safe to say Tyler Sheets is getting as much enjoyment out of his collection as humanly possible. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting.